there, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. Well, I've really missed you guys. I hope you've missed us as well. We didn't have our show last week, but we're back in the saddle again every now and again. We don't broadcast for one reason or another, a holiday or possibly family emergency. Life happens. But welcome back in. If you're brand new with us here at My Chamber TV, I just want to let you know what it's all about. It's about bringing the community to us and then to you. We call it the heartbeat of our community because we get out and really feel the pulse of the neighborhood, the various cities, the communities, the various chambers, and what makes each one of them different to one another. Today we have the Clearwater Chamber, a very special lady who's going to be talking about how to turn around your business. I'm sure many of you out there that have been seeking different ways to really step up to the plate to improve your business we have some answers for you today, so stick around. You might want to text a few of your friends, have them tune in as well, or even get on Facebook. Like us on Facebook, My Chamber TV is the way to go. It's this new niche TV show that airs every Wednesday at our fairly new time slot from 3.30 to 4.30. Now, if you'd like to be on the show, just get a hold of us here at My Chamber TV. We'd love to have you on. If you're a board member of the chamber, you'd like to come in and talk about what's happening happening in your chamber. You might even have a ribbon cutting ceremony or a special event. Charities are also welcome. It's our dedication to the community to really get everyone engaging here. And you know, it's really working. What I'm finding truly is that the, the best commonality among all the chambers is two words. Get involved. When you get involved in your community and you join the Chamber of Commerce, it really puts you out there in the forefront for business, making friends, working with people that you know, like, and trust. I'm sure you've heard that before. If not, then it's definitely time for you to join a chamber or more than one. I can't tell you how many people that have joined several different Chamber of Commerces and it's to their best interest to do that because it exposes them, their personalities, their businesses to various communities in the Tampa Bay area. So I welcome you to come on board. We've been busy ourselves too. So sometimes if you don't see us here, like the last time we were on, we had an abbreviated show because we were out in the community. We were interviewing at the Business Expo in the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. And John, our producer, and I went out with a little camera and we were going out interviewing and had such a blast. In fact, what we're gonna do today is we're going to actually show you some of those videos and you can kind of get a feel for how we interact and we engage with members in the community. After all, isn't that what it's all about? You know, as the economy changes and various elements and climates change in the business world, we need to be more innovative, they say. We need to step out of the box more. We need to really go for the gusto. Do you know all the answers on how to do that? I certainly don't. But I'm learning, and I'm learning because I'm connecting with the people in the know, the pros that are out there that have won awards after awards just by implementing different programs and bringing people on board to see the different things that you can do in business. So I'm glad that you're tuned in today. I'm glad that you're going to hang in there with, with us and listen to our special guest who happens to be Miss Jewel. Jewel McEwen is going to be coming in. She's going to be talking about P3 agents. And I cannot wait to interview here on the show because I have a really good feeling about this gal. She knows her stuff and she gets out in the community and she shows what is working and proves to you how you can actually make a difference in your business and in the lives of others. And I tell you, the more people that come on My Chamber TV, which is, my goodness, is going to be almost a year old, right, John? Yes. We launched this last year in 2014. We've been going strong. And I tell you, it's just such a wonderful way to, to get involved in the community and to have people join us and talk about what they're doing to make a difference. And the thing is that there's so many different ways to improve your business, so many different ways to get involved in the community, whether it's doing some volunteer work yourself, whether it's to get up and learn how to speak in front of people, like. I had to learn to do it one time, and, and I think that certainly makes a difference when you can talk to people and, and really engage them 
engage them in the conversation, find out more about people and really what makes them tick. Hit their hot button and just really communicate. I think communication is probably one of the key elements. So once we learn how to communicate with businesses and, and people that, that you want to do business with and they, they want to do business with you, that is a key element. So get involved in your community, get involved with a chamber of commerce and certainly come on our show. If you have something to share, if you're starting something brand new and you want to share that in the community, this is the way to do it. Because here on My Chamber TV, we air across the nation. So this is really airing to so many people around the continent here that you are going to absolutely be so excited to hear some of the things that everyone says. I certainly am. I learn something new all the time. I was just saying to a gentleman here in the studio that it's really great to have you on board with us because I have not been able to get out in the community until I joined My Chamber TV. And because I was busy doing another television job for a number of years, so I never got a chance to meet the people in the community. Now, I feel like I'm engaging with those people and sort of being the conduit of bringing them people to you and you to them. So I want to thank you for joining us here for My Chamber TV. And I know we've had a lot of requests from many of you interviewees from a couple of weeks ago at the Expo, the Business Expo, up at the Verizon House. Uh, and we're going to show those. We're going to show many of them. We've already been doing that over the last few weeks, but we're going to show a few more coming up in just a little bit. We're going to take a brief little time out, do a little housekeeping, and when we come back, we will have our special guest and those videos I'm promising you. So don't go anywhere, put a fresh pot of coffee on or your favorite beverage, and we will be back right after this. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term. Long term. Your terms. Apply online at NorcomMortgage.com. That loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. 
The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel Kelly. I love what I do, and I always say to people, when you do what you love and love what you do, it's not work. It really isn't work. But anyway, welcome back in. It's great to have you with us. We have a special guest coming up here in just a little bit. But before we bring her out, her name's Jewel McEwen. She's going to be talking about something called Business You, and it's 2015 brand new ideas for improving your business. So we will do that in just a moment. But before we do, as I promised, I wanted to bring out the videos that we shot with our interviews just a couple of weeks ago when we went to the West Pasco Business Expo at the Verizon Center. I called it the Verizon House, so I just wanted to correct that for you. So I am going to throw over to our videos, and when we come back, we're going to find out what we can do to improve our businesses. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Hi, welcome to My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly, and with me is Chip Wickmanowski with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. Great to have you with us. This is a phenomenal event here at the Verizon Center. Amazing job that you guys have done with Business Development Week. I am impressed. Well, thank you so much. It has been a, a true labor of love, a, a committee that put all this together, not only this particular expo, but the week-long events we're having, the positive feedback we're getting from all the people in the community that have attended our events and 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 we can't say enough to my chamber tv because we've been pitching it on you guys and it's obviously made an impact because people are showing up so thanks my chamber tv it's really our pleasure to do this in fact we did a show today a half hour show and was driving our viewers over to the event as well so hopefully it'll keep picking up i, I certainly hope so and we got some great events for the rest of the week so if anybody has any questions go to westpasco.com and look at the look at the website and and take a look and see there's still some events over the next couple of days that they can attend it's there, been great very good thanks chip thanks Barbara. Thank you for joining us. We have more interviews coming up with My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. Exactly. Hi, welcome to My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly. With me is Lawrence France from Suntel Networks. Sun Suntel Networks. What is Suntel Networks? Suntel Networks is one of the oldest providers of hosted PBX in the United States. We provide uh, local dial tone in 85% of the U.S., as well as hosted PBX, which means we provide the phones with a service for those people who want that. Very nice. And uh, what, what do you think about this whole event here with the Verizon Center? What a great exposure for everyone. Oh, it's a fantastic event. They do a great job here. Um, the food is always great. The camaraderie is great. The setup is great. I just love what they do, and uh, that's why we're here today. And we're also here to support the chamber. Can we hire him? Really? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back more with My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. Welcome to My Chamber TV. I'm Barbara Marville. It's great to have you with us. I'm here with Rob Aegis. Aegis, yes. With MTech. Yes. Tell us all about what you're doing here. Okay, sure. Well, it's a great opportunity for me to be here. As you know, MTech, as we just referred to it, has grown a bit and uh, we are now Marchman Technical College and uh, we are opening our doors to the community. Certainly we are here as a part of a networking but also to take part in the expo and we support Business Development Week. We've uh, served Pasco County since 1984 and we have expanded our services not just for our secondary students but for our post-secondary students. And so all the technical programs that we have offered to secondary students we now offer to post-secondary students and uh, with uh, new opportunities as far as uh, our campus is concerned. We're going to be going through a total campus uh, renovation project and uh, so that will uh, afford some opportunities not just during the daytime but at nighttime, hopefully the weekends and hopefully we can uh, reach out to the community and provide services to the community. 
whether they be educational or space or whatever the case may be. So a lot of opportunities happening at Marshman Technical College. You are doing so much in the community. Are you still up there near Red Ridge Road? We are. We're just off of Ridge Road and Lemon Road. Uh, in fact, uh, Lemon Road, as you cross Orchid Lake, turns into Campus Drive, and that's where we're located. Very nice. Thank you so much. Your students did such a fabulous job here tonight cooking. Uh, the students from the uh, Commercial Foods and Culinary Arts uh, program did an absolutely excellent job with their demonstration today, but they did a great piece of work uh, this morning. Uh, they served uh, BDW luncheon for about 150 plus 160 uh, both students and community members, and the food was outstanding. The service was, was that much better, and, and the uh, atmosphere was great. We had Veronica Cintron was our luncheon speaker, and she did an absolutely wonderful job with the students, really connected well with the students today. That's wonderful. I heard all about that from Paul Friedlander earlier. So congratulations for a great job well done. Great. Thank you. And thanks for having us today. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us. Barbara Marvel, My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. Welcome to My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel. And with me is Susan Dillinger, who is Li the library director with the Newport Ritchie Public Library. Is that correct? That is correct. Wow, I got that right. Tell us what's so great about your library. Well, we, there's been so much. I mean, it's hard to just put it down to one little thing. In um, 2006, we were named the first Florida Library Association Library of the Year. Very nice. Now, how long has it been in existence? Since uh, 1919, we just celebrated our 95th birthday, and we're working our way to 100. Well, congratulations. You must be very proud. How long have you been, been over there as a director? I'm starting my 25th year. Well, God bless you. That's fabulous. It is, and it, it's the best job in the world. Well, you must do what you love and love what you do to be there that many years. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in with My Chamber TV and what we're doing here in the community because we are the heartbeat of our community. Hi, welcome to My Chamber TV. I'm your host, Barbara Marvel, and with me is Jean Harberts from the uh, Hernando... The, okay, you say it. We're from the Greater Hernando County Chamber of Commerce. And why is it so fabulous up there? Well, because we're a one-county chamber and we are a member-to-member -member chamber where we concentrate on our members. Um, try to promote and help them grow and prosper. We like to have fun and we're We try to engage our membership in as many different ways as possible Right now we have a brand new website. We just got up and running January 5th. That is it allows the capability to connect with members um, through their own web directory page in a way that they can reach more people very nice our membership is mainly most of um, mostly made up of small businesses, so they don't get a chance to get out. So this is our way, the best product and the best way we can support them is to have them be able to communicate from their back, their office where they can get out and see and connect with our members. So, so you're bringing bringing the connections together basically up there in Hernando County. Oh, absolutely. Well, you're going to have to come back on our show okay. and talk more about it. Will do. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, my Chamber TV, Barbara Marville, the heartbeat of your community. <laughs> Here, <let's have> fun. <laughs> Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term. Long term. Your terms. Apply online at NorcomMortgage.com. Be that loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental. Providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. 
Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up to date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last-minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen. Hi everyone, welcome to My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. I'm your host, Barbara Marville Kelly, and we have our special guest from Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce, which is Jewel McEwen, and can I just tell you, this lady is a jewel. You <laughs> truly are. You fit that name well. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, and I'm here on behalf of the Clearwater Chamber today. Yes, you are, because you're going to be talking about Business You. Yes. This is a brand new development, a whole new initiative moving forward in two 2015. Why don't you tell everybody about why you put this together? Now you've been in the business as a definitely a PR person. Jewel just told me that she more or less wears her heart on her sleeve with her clients because she embraces them and really cares about people. So you're at the right place at the right uh -huh, time. We you. need more of that caring. So what what made you get involved with this? Well, you know, first of all, being involved in the chamber, if you really want to make a difference and be of value to the chamber so that people get to know you, you be active and you contribute. And so I'm a strategist and a, I love, I'm a business intelligence junkie, so I go through probably 800 to 1,000 business intelligence reports every week, and that allows me to keep my clients ahead of the curve. Well, I understand that we are in um, a digital age, we're in a golden marketing time, this is now the playing field out there has been leveled, but it's no longer business as usual. And whether you're a startup or you've been in business 5, 10, 20 years, if you're not aware of how technology-driven innovation is changing how you reach the marketplace and how the marketplace wants to be reached because they're changing because of technology, um, you're probably going to be a dinosaur because people are going to, your competition will go right past you. You know, that is quite a mouthful of some really serious information. So basically what I glean from what you just said is you can't, you just can't kick back and just assume that what worked 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago, that's not going to work today. You're absolutely right, Barbara. 
Absolutely so, right. So you have really jumped in and with both feet and embraced with your heart and soul to really find out what what is going to work with businesses, and that's why you're so successful. And you put together this program called Business You. I have to show and this to you. This was a joint effort. Obviously, I gather. You know, I was part of a business builder series last year, and we looked at how we could make it stand out differently. Well, Kathy, and this is the fruits of that. That it, that's right. And. Um, Kathy came to uh, talk to us about that. She came in and we promoted that several times, and, and it, I was so enthralled by that. It was exciting to see that, that that was going to come about. So this was a collective venture. Yes. Uh, the people that were the original steering committee, and then we've gathered more supporters along the way. So this is something that we came up with. We wanted to differentiate um, the chamber from other chambers, we wanted to offer something that was really important for businesses to learn and know because we can help them with their bottom line by teaching them and, and having speakers that can share with them how they used innovation and their entrepreneurial spirit and, and how it takes collaboration too. So we're very excited about it. It's going to launch in April, the end of April, around the 24th at Ruth Eckert Hall. We're going to have three dynamite speakers of of entrepreneurs and businesses that have been very innovative and and used all of these three keys of innovation, entrepreneurship, and collaboration. So can you give us a couple sneak peek tips? <laughs> well, maybe one at least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what would be a good one that would Don't be? give it all away. No, 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 I won't. Um, well, we're going to uh, show people and businesses how they can actually leverage leverage their business and have it grow while saving them time, saving them money, and actually enjoying the thrill of why they went into business. Mm, so you're really going to pull a lot out, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that is exciting. Now, I have to tell you that um, I pulled Jules, uh, her amazing, amazing <laughs> resume, which is two pages long, and half of it is full of nothing but one award after another. Do you mind if, do you mind if I just actually <laughs> tell off All some right. of these? Sure. Let's see. National Business Woman of the Year 2004, National Business Woman of the Year 2003, 2002, 1, 2000, 1999, and last year, Clearwater Regional Chamber uh, Business Builder Advisory Board, okay, and Marketing Specialist Presenter and Facilitator, 2013 Humanitarian Award, SMA uh, University. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, the list goes on and on. The, you were telling me also before, during our little break, that you are from a family of entrepreneurs. So yes. as a little wee one, you yeah. started, I mean, you came from literally from the ground up. <laughs> I mean, this is all you know, yeah. right? Yes. But it's your passion, too. It I can is. tell. It is totally my passion. Um, my parents uh, had me working in their business. Um, at nine, I asked them if I could have a, a special piece of their business that I could run on my own. They were, uh, my grandfather had been an industrial, he, he had been a farmer, but very entrepreneurial, and he lost his farm back in the day when he um, farmed over 100 acres that he wasn't supposed to. So he was blackballed by the granaries and the, uh, and the meat packing houses and lost his farm. Oh, dear. But my grandfather, being the innovator that he was, was he came up with the idea of being um, an industrial caterer. So he developed a whole business of bringing hot food, sandwiches, soups, and drinks into the factories, walking from station to station, drill press, drill press to drill press. And it grew so fast, he had my father and his two sisters get into the business, and they all retired at 40, 42, and 44. Wow. So, um, wow. so, so I, got to, I got to absorb a lot from many generations. And you saw what it, what it takes to survive. Yes, and I saw that, you know, if you have a dream and you believe in it, then go for it. Don't, don't let fear stop you. And I think that's one of the things about the entrepreneurial spirit, which is what our whole country was founded mm -hmm. on to begin mm -hmm. with, that... Um, you can do it. You can do it. Do you find that some businesses fail because they, people might be going down the, maybe a, a path that maybe they aren't 
You think that's what that, it can be sometimes? That can be that can be that or they forget that they can reach out and mm-hmm. ask for successful people mm-hmm. to give them some guidance or some mm-hmm. ideas or how did they make the challenge that meet the challenge that they encountered? So, because um, I at a point in my life, I I thought it was, uh, I thought I didn't dare ask anybody's advice because I should know it all, and so I thought that was a sign of weakness if I didn't have all the answers. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, that, well, that's that's very profound what you're saying. So, in other words. I think that might have been from the belief system back then. And so when you change your belief system and just like step back a little bit and go, wait a minute, I can learn from other people. And from what I've observed from very successful people, that's exactly what they've done. Mm -hmm. They've observed other successful people. So it makes sense to do that. But if you're kind of like caught up in your own whatever it is, and you just, you know, you're not comfortable doing that, and you think, oh, I got to do this all on my own, and everything, you really miss out on learning a lot of different tools out there. Because since I personally have been involved with My Chamber TV and have met people like yourself and the young professionals groups, there's so many of these younger I call them kids compared to myself, but you know, they've got a lot of innovative ideas. But what I think is so respectful is that they also look up to us seniors, if you will, (laughs) or, Mm -hmm. you know, us with a few extra years on our life, that kind of thing. And, and then the seniors and those that have been in business for a while and have been successful, they share a lot of what has worked and that is a staple of what works. Not everything does from years ago. You know, there's some of that always no like and trust will always, always go far in business. But what you're saying is is just so profound to maybe somebody that might might be identifying to what you're saying where I can mm-hmm. do this myself. I can, I should know all this. I went to college, you know, I graduated <laughs> from college. I, 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 know, I got this, right? When really they don't. And it's uh, what I call, it's it's the looking good and looking good and not wanting to uh, admit that you don't have all the answers. I mean, that looking good thing tends to get in people's way. Right. And instead of being vulnerable and mm-hmm. being honest, because mm-hmm. actually it can inspire another business person to say, oh, my God, this is, this is possible. Yes, so. yes, yes. Because anything really is possible when you do have that deep burning passion right down to the pit of your soul, nothing can stop you. But sometimes and sometimes you're all you're almost at the finish line. Mm-hmm. You know, and some people will just go, I can't do this. And they give up and they're almost there. Mm-hmm. So they just need to just poke their nose into the bubble mm-hmm. and they're they'll be there if they can they can just get a little more help from other people that have been there, done it. And that's what you're doing. So that's exciting. How is this going to um, pan out at Ruth Eckert Hall? Uh, is it like a long, is like for the weekend or is it a one day? No, it, it's pretty much going to be an introduction mm-hmm. with three key speakers that represent the various innovation, entrepreneurship, and collaboration and how it impacted their businesses. Very nice. And it's to let them know that then we will have programs for them to engage in. And then every quarter we will have like a big event like we'll have at Ruth Eckert where we have three major speakers. Oh, very good. And we will have, you know, there'll be a website on the Chambers website and uh, there will be a lot of events. And So this will just explode into a much larger, larger venue for everybody. I feel that it's the next best big thing. And I think we can get national exposure on it because it's, so. it's so innovative. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it, 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 it. Just the sounds of it, Business You and 2015, I mean, you know, it's still kind of the new year and we're still looking for new different ways and we're all still fresh from the new year and leaving a lot from behind in 2014. I'll tell you, I've talked to a lot of people that feel like 2015 is our year. I've talked to so many people about that where even if they were successful last year, or maybe not as successful as they want to be, but they're just so determined. Do you find in your business that people today are more determined, more really wanting to do what it takes to, to make that, that next step? I, I think it's the same mix. It's the 80-20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the 20 that are really going to take it on and get there. 
and it's the 80% that's going to take their time mm -hmm. until they get there. That's very good, very good. And it's, it's, it's basically when you're an entrepreneur and you own your own business, you're the one that's setting your own glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. Nobody's telling you how big you can grow, mm -hmm. how fast you can go. It's all, it's all within. So mm -hmm. uh, when I work with my clients, we work on a lot of that so that they, are, that they grow into their role and, and be fearless. That's exciting. You must feel really accomplished at the end of the day after you have satisfied some goals. And I'm sure you run into a few little bumps here and there, but of it's course. like, you know, it, 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 I can tell that you really have embraced what you've been doing all these years. And this is just really the icing on the cake to bring this to the Tampa Bay area. Um, Ruth Eckert holds quite a number of people, I do believe. Yes, so, it does. yeah, so this should be a big splash for business for 2015. Um, do we know the costs and when we can start getting tickets on this? Um, I'm not sure. We don't have those details worked out yet. But you're going to be coming back and talking yes, about Yes, I would them. love to tell you more because we have, we have another meeting tomorrow. We're making some more big decisions, and so I'll have more information to bring to your uh, followers. Very, very nice. Well, we're going to be going to a break, and I hope that you'll be sticking with this, and we'll talk a little bit more after the break. So we'll be right back after this. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term, long term, your terms. Apply online at NorcomMortgage.com. That loves going to the dentist because it's made for you and me. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. When I go to Dr. B, they don't do anything to hurt you. I used to be afraid, but I'm not now. I'm not afraid of the dentist anymore. I love to see Dr. B. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. Mortgages don't need to be complicated. At Norcom, we're here to guide you through the process. By following our tried and true path to success, we make homes happen. To get started, give us a call or apply online. A trusted mortgage consultant will reach out to you to find out what your goals are. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new home or refinance your current home, we are dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. At Norcom, we'll provide a best-in-class customer experience. Once a plan is established, your mortgage consultant will analyze your income, assets, and credit profile in order to customize a plan for you. If you're planning on moving in the next few years, we might suggest an adjustable rate mortgage to be the best option for you. If you're a veteran, we'll get you started on a VA loan with 0% down. And if you're thinking long-term, a 30-year fixed loan might be your best fit. Our professionals are up-to-date on market trends and will help you make the best decision in choosing your rate. After we've found the program that's best for you, we'll then need to collect some information, including pay stubs, bank statements, and tax forms. Our underwriting team steers a loan through the approval process to verify that all the information you've provided is correct. As the underwriting process is taking place, an appraisal is ordered to determine the value of your home. A professional, local appraiser specializing in your area will determine the home's value. The last leg of this journey is closing your loan. While taking care of any last minute details, our closing team will work on scheduling your closing date and location. It's that simple. Thank you for taking some time to walk through the mortgage path with us. Remember, we're always here to answer any questions you may have. It may seem intimidating, but here at Norcom Mortgage, we make homes happen.
<laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back into My Chamber TV. I am your host, Barbara Marvel Kelly, and I am with Jewel McEwen, just giving us a wealth of information on what's coming up. You are such a great contribution to our community. I was asking you earlier, you've been down here since the 70s. Yeah. Yes? Yes, yes. My goodness. Actually, um, I wasn't going to stay longer than two years, but then I found Safety Harbor, and there's only 3,200 people in town then. And what you see in downtown Safety Harbor is the results of my work in doing the downtown redevelopment and business no and kidding. economic growth. That's why they gave me a gold key to the city Aww, for 20, 20, 10 years as the uh, downtown redevelopment director and then uh, 20 years as the, on the planning and zoning board. So, so I could you're, watch resp it. Uh, you're responsible <laughs> for all that. I and love I was building a multi million dollar publishing company at the same time. Oh if somebody God. would have asked me, told me it would be 30 years, I'm not sure I would have <laughs> taken it on. <laughs> but I just followed my passion, and there you go. Follow your heart. And yeah. it looks like you've done well. Well, Safety Harbor has really, really, really come a yeah. long way. Very I've, excited. I've always enjoyed Safety Harbor. It always has a lot of charm. But the businesses that are just going through the roof down there, is a well, congratulations! Yeah, thank you. You are just I, something else. I have this, um, it's like a six word bio that Hemingway was challenged to come up with his own six word bio. Yeah, and mine is transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. Love Wherever it. I can take something and make it awesome, that's why I do what I do. It sounds like you're doing epic proportions. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love I, it. I'm just a big yes to life. Oh, <laughs> I say. See? I love that. Well, in case you, you missed what we were talking about, Jewel is responsible for, obviously, some major business improvements and really getting them off the ground and being extremely successful. And so she's sharing a lot of this with this new in invention that she's come up with called Business You. And well, it's a, a joint effort. It's I a mean, joint it's, effort, it's, and you have uh, other people that you collaborate with yes. and pulling it together. Yes. And being a member of the Palm Harbor Chamber of Commerce, but you're working with the Clearwater. I'm with, also a member this, on the. I'm on. The, I'm a member of the Clearwater Chamber also. See, getting involved. Yes. You know, I find that that is one of the commonalities that I always say on our show is getting involved with your mm -hmm. chamber. Yeah, absolutely. You have some tips for people on on some of the different little avenues that they go down when they join the chamber, just from your own experience? Just a couple. Well, I would look at where you might find an area that uh, fits your, your interests and take on some accountability and leadership role and really learn to meet people and participate. A lot of people, it's kind of like Kennedy, you know, it's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Well, it works the same way for chambers. And... Uh, and so it, it pays off. Really. Yeah, it does. And not only not only in the people you meet and the growth of your business, but just in understanding that you're making a difference that is going to impact the area. And Clearwater is right now on the on the cusp of uh, a renaissance. It's finally going to come into its own. And. So we're pretty excited about what the chamber can do to help support that. Oh, absolutely. And in getting involved with the chamber, truly, as I was saying before when I was up on my soapbox, I'm very passionate about it myself because there when I was doing another TV job, I was so far removed from my community. It feels really good, and I feel... I feel really more grounded now mm -hmm. when I can see not just my own community of Tarpon Springs, but the outskirts, like you coming from Clearwater and Palm Harbor and Newport Ritchie, Tampa. We've had so many different chambers involved here. This is like the hub of the chambers in, in the Tampa Bay area. So it's really great to have you on board with us. What else would you like to share about the business you before we close our show? Well. I feel that this is an opportunity for all businesses, no matter how new or old they are, to really learn what's happened in the world and how consumers are really looking to be reached out to. They both like, it should be like an 80-20, you know, use the digital side of it, use the uh, innovations, but don't forget that people touch, you're still doing business with people. So get out there and be with them. And I think you can never lose when you're out there, you're making eye contact, you're doing handshake meetings and the good old-fashioned ways that, that will always work. But I have some 
questions about this whole thing of doing business and with this digital world that we're in. Because for those of us baby boomers, we weren't raised in a digital world. And my kids finally stopped making fun of me and now they just laugh because I, I learned a little bit, enough to be dangerous, enough to be creative. But what do you say to people that have that fear factor that they're you know they're afraid to you know get the iPad which is the easiest thing in the whole world if I can do it but getting involved with you know computer technologies social media how do you take that fear away from them because they're like they're, they're like a deer with the headlights on because they just don't they want to, don't want to do it well um, I have to say that there's a shift in the marketplace and the millennials, which is the, the hot generation right now that all the ad agencies want to go after. And granted so, there are future leaders, but they share the same um, values that the boomers do, mm -hmm. even though they're from such distant generations. Sure. And the boomers are grasping technology. Mm -hmm. And there's so much information out there, and there's so much that way, easy ways to learn it that you can't make a mistake. And I just highly recommend. I mean, boomers today, give you an example, uh, my, my 83-year-old father and my 94-year-old aunt and his younger sister at 77, once technology came in and they had their smartphones and they had their computers and email and they communicated every day and they had they would go for years without sending a card or even a letter and they were closer than ever so the boomers are learning they might have been slow to adapt but right. don't underestimate them and right now statistically over half the world has smartphones now yes and it's yes. growing rapidly growing yes so I, didn't, I never thought I would live long enough to <laughs> see the other person that I'm talking to on the phone Really, I mean, that is like the now technology. And even though we might be a little bit resistance, once we do embrace it and learn and everything, it really is just a, just a whole new world for us. It does. It's almost like you have to have that now. What did we do without cell phones? <laughs> what did we do? I well, mean, you can't even find a pay phone anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just so crazy with the technology. And that is same to apply with business. So as technology advances and everything, the, the whole concept of business is changing, like you said. And like I said earlier, when we opened the show, and so many of our guests say the same thing. Business is changing. And I never realized that I'd hear people say that it's changing very rapidly to where we can be talking about this business concept today. And in a month from now, oh, no, that, that's no more. Mm hmm Absolutely. So, so what you're basically wanting to encourage people to understand is we've got to stay with the program. We've got to stay current. And we want to provide that information so that they can have it, you know, face to face with us and the experts that are using it. And that'll make a difference. It'll take away their fear factor once they learn how easy it is. And, um, and they see the difference that it makes in their business. I mean, this is now when a David could sail right past a Goliath because they've got the same innovative tools that they can do it. Well, and what, if everybody's learning this, everybody's also playing sort of on the same playing field. So I can understand That's why you have to. Where innovation comes in. You've got to be right. more innovative than your competitor. <laughs> you have, to, you have <laughs> to step out of the box a little bit and just stay ahead of your competitor, right? Yeah. And you're going to teach them how to do that. Absolutely, we are. All of us. We're committed to that. April 23rd, huh? right? Yes, at Ruth Eckerd Eckerd Hall. Hall. You're going to be coming back, though, yes. to give more details. So if you want to get tickets and and really step up your business and learn a little bit more, to say the very least, I think you're going to be very pleased when you meet Jewel because she really is a gem. <laughs> I can tell she, you've, you've got you've got a lot of gusto and you've got a lot up here, but more in here to really mm -hmm. share with thank people. You. I can really tell that. So I want to thank you for joining us on the show today. Any mm -hmm. Anything else? Any more tips I can squeeze out of oh, you? Well, one, I want to thank you for having us oh. on because we really are committed to making sure that this reaches as many people as possible. Well, we definitely will do that and, for uh, you. I just say um, just be excited about your business. You can, you can feel the fear, but push right through it. And there's resources like Business You out there that can really make a difference. Very nice. And, of course, from my life coaching days, remember that 
fear is false evidence appearing real. Write that down because it'll take you a long way. It certainly did with me. So Beautiful I want to thank you. You're such thank a delight. You. Well, thank you. So, so are we're, you. We're going to have you come back. <laughs> thank you. I look forward to it. And more people come back to share Good. what's going yeah, on. Yeah, we'll bring more of the... It just happened that, you know, there was just a, a time when we couldn't get enough people here, but... So we will send more people so you get to meet the team. Yes, and I'd love to if we if the speakers that are going to be speaking, if they're local or whatever, if they're in town, maybe we could get them in. Absolutely. Just, they are three dynamite speakers. We'll tease you. We'll so, definitely tease you. Yes. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Barbara. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay, thank you. And we'll see you next time. Same time, same place next Wednesday. More to come here from My Chamber TV. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hopefully our tips have helped you, and you will be watching for Business U 2015. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Thank you.